Welcome again to Hi Montreal. My name is Lisa Winston. And today I have some special entertainment for you. Maurice Perez is here, and he does several things. But first, you're going to see him doing mime.
I'd like to welcome you to our program, Maurice. Thank you very much. Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. I'd like to thank you for your performance. It was for me a great pleasure, really. Now, I know in mime, you're not supposed to talk, but I'm going to take advantage of that. <laughs> And I'm going to ask you to explain to the audience what is the history behind your your uh, your piece. Ah, do you didn't understand? Oh, I ah, understood, understand. but ah, I'm just taking understand. advantage here. I want you to. Uh, it's a long uh, story, you know. A long because you also you choreographed this, so I want yes, you to explain. Yes, it's a long story for this uh, number. It's uh, it's a story of an uh, old Hasidic man, and uh, he's walking on the street, and suddenly he's a uh, he's uh, listen to to uh, Hasidic melodies. And these Hasidic melodies remind him a lot of uh, souvenirs when he was young. A lot of memories. A lot of memories. That is my mom is Hasidic memories. That is the name of my mom, number. And uh, it's all his, uh, to say, jeunesse. Uh, his youth. His youth, yes. Uh, sad, uh, happiness, everything together. And Again, he come back like an old man, and he's very, maybe angry about. That's it. Now, uh, how did you get the idea um, to do this this particular subject? It's a long time. Ago, maybe it's a few months ago. I wanted to, to to make something on the Hasidic melodies. I wanted to make a mime, but it was very difficult because I am a dancer too, and uh, I I wanted to sty stylize it. To stylize this, this number. Do you know, it's, a, it's between mime, dance, expression. You know, but it's very difficult. But I try to to make like mime number. Oh, I see. Because it isn't exactly. If people would usually, when people think of mime, they think of someone like Marcel yeah. Marceau. Yes, but uh, mime. You know, even now, mime. It's a it's a very uh, long field. Mime. Uh, you can do a lot of. You have a, a lot of theater. Make a mime, but it's not really mime. You have a lot of opportunity now in the mime. You can speak, you can make some sound, you can do everything. Now, when, did you, have you studied mime, or you, you mentioned you're also a dancer. Did you only study dance? No, I, I studied mime, yes, in Paris by Etienne de Croux, and uh, three years in Montreal, in uh, Ecole uh, Corporelle de Cat du Mime, de Katsu, for, t for a few years. And now I'm working alone by mime. You're branching out and you're doing... Yes, but I, I hope in the future to, to improve my better and better. And do you perform this, I mean, not only for us and for my audience, but I perform so for some audience, special audience for the Jewish community or for different uh, festivals or holidays. In fact, I caught you the other night at Café Ora. Yes. You performed your... Yes, my Café Ora, yes. It's Café Ora from the Sound Community of Juif. Yes. Which you also did because I wanted. Oh, I said in the beginning that you do several things, so yeah. um, we <laughs> could talk about your well, cafe like, aura. Yeah. Okay, cafe aura. It's a, it's a Israeli cafe. It's a new Israeli cafe in Montreal, uh, once a month, and uh, it starts slowly. And now it's it's a lot of success. I got a lot of success with this, and I think I can reach a lot of people in Montreal for this cafe aura. Yeah, the night I was there and I caught your performance, there were people coming, coming, they didn't have enough chairs. Oh, yes, you got uh, 250 people. I was so, so excited, you know, <laughs> because my baby uh, uh, grew up very, very fast. Now, you started this a couple of months ago and it's just been growing? Yes, yes, and uh, yes, and uh, I don't know how he will uh, grow, but... Uh, <laughs> Now, well, during the summer, so because it's now almost now springtime, yes, yes. so during spring and summer, will you be having a cafe aura every month? Yes, uh, in June, on the 25th of June, and in August, and after in October, November, December, you know, every month. And that's where? Sorry? Where, where will this be? Ah, it's uh, at the Snowdon Y on uh, Westbury, at the uh, Auditorium uh, Grover. And this is usually which day? On Saturday night. <laughs> okay, so everybody has that. It's usually on Saturday night. Yes, yeah, Saturday night. Uh, you have a lot. You make a lot of publicity for this in the in the newspaper, radio, and at the Y. And uh, we cannot. I think you cannot miss a cafe. <laughs> but you also teach dance classes. Yes, I teach dances. Uh, Israeli dancing at the Y, 
in Ville Saint Laurent at Bet Ora. And I wrote up a few classes, you know, beginner, advanced, intermediate. And it's going very well. I'm very happy. <laughs> now, do you have a performance coming up that if people wanted to catch you in person? Uh, what, what, what performance? Uh, dance? Uh, you have so many things, uh, uh, whichever you have. Maybe on April on the 17th uh, at uh, Temple Emmanuel, with my dance group, you're going to, to perform for the, I think, Yomas Mouth. And yes. you, you do many of your things through the, through the Centre du Juif? Yes, but I have my dance group too, Arimon dance group. Oh yes, we forgot to mention, mention <laughs> that. Not only do you, have, uh, you do teach dancing, but you have your own my Israeli uh, folk dancing group. Yes, yes, I, uh, I am a choreographer, director and choreographer of this group. This group is a part of the Sound Community Juif. And we start last week uh, for the Sephardic Festival. And uh, it was very, it was a lot of success. And I uh, now the group is still in life, like Arimon and the group. And uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, Yemenite and uh, Israeli and Jewish Spanish dance in this group. Which is, you, you didn't mention where you did it, because I thought it was very interesting. Uh, you're doing at University, University de Montréal. Yesterday, yes, you, got, you, you did a very good uh, show at the University of Montreal. But you perform for the Jewish community in Montreal, or the Quebec community in Montreal, too. Perform for. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for coming. It was my pleasure. Lisa. I'm performing for us for the holiday season. It was my pleasure. And I'd, uh, you can catch Maurice Perez either at his dance group or dance, performing at his dance group, performing as mime, teaching at the uh, dance classes. And maybe classes. in the mountain, too, during the summer. In the summertime, you also teach the dance Every course? Tuesday in the mountain, uh, the, Montreux, the Beaver Lake. Every Tuesday. Okay, so merci beaucoup. Merci aussi à toi, Lisa. And now, now on to our next section of Chaim Montréal.